Shalom Aleichem. Welcome to the adventures of YHWHY. This is Mr. Vance, and we are digging into the book of Haggai, the prophet from the Et Sefer Publishing Group, the book of Haggai, chapter 1. In the second year of Deravesh, the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of Yahuwah to Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Yehuda, and to El Yahusha, the son of Yahutzadak, the Kohen Hagadol, the high priest, saying, Thus speaks Yahuwah Tezavoth, saying, This people say, The time is not come the time that Yahuwah's house should be built. Then came the word of Yahuwah to Haggai, the Nabi, the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your settled houses, and this house lies in waste? Now, therefore thus says Yahuwah Tezavot, Consider your ways. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but you are not filled with drink. Ye are clothed, but there is none warm. And he that earns wages, earns wages to be put into a bag with holes. Thus says Yahuwah Tezavoth, Consider your ways. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, says Yahuwah. Ye looked for much and lo, it came to little and when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? says Yahuwah Tezavoth, because of my bet, my house, that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house, therefore the Shamayim, the heavens over you, are stayed from dew, and the earth is stayed from her fruit, and I called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the grain, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground brings forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labors of the hands. Then Zavar Babel, the son of Shealtiel, and Yahusha, the son of Yahatzedek, the Kohen Hagadol, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of Yahuwah Elohim, and the words of Haggai the Nabi, the prophet, as Yahuwah Elohim had sent him, and the people did fear before Yahuwah. Then spoke Haggai, Yahuwah's messenger, in Yahuwah's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, says Yahuwah. And Yahuwah stirred up Aleph Tav, the Ruach of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Yehuda, and Aleph Tav, the Ruach of Yahusha, the son of Yahutzedek, the Kohen Hagadol, and Aleph Tav, the Ruach of all the remnant of the people, and they came and did work in the house of Yahuwah Tezavot, their Elohim, in the fourth and twenty day of the sixth month, in the second year of Deravesh, the king. In the s chapter two, in the second month, in the one and twentieth day of the month came the word of Yahuwah by the Nabi, the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Yahuda, and to El Yahusha, the son of Yahutzadak, 
the high priest, the Kohen Hagadol, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Who is left among you that saw Aleph Tav this house in its first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says Yahuwah, and be strong, O Yahusha, son of Yahotzedek, the Kohen Hagadol, and be strong, all ye people of the land, says Yahuwah, and work. For I am with you, says Yahuwah Tezavot, according to the Aleph Tav et word Devorum, that I covenanted with you when ye came out of Mitzrayim, so my Ruach remains among you. Fear ye not. For thus says Yahuwah Tezavot, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake Aleph Tav, the Shamayim, the heavens, and Aleph Tav, Heretz, the earth, and Aleph Tav, the sea, and Aleph Tav, the dry land, and I will shake Aleph Tav, all nations, and I will desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill Aleph Tav at this bet, this house, with the kavod, the glory, says Yahuwah Tezavot. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says Yahuwah Tezavot. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former, says Yahuwah Tezavot. And in this place I will give shalom, says Yahuwah Tezavot. In the fourth and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Deravesh, came the word of Yahuwah by Haggai the pro- Nabi, the prophet, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Tezavot, Ask now Aleph Tav the Kohen, the priests, concerning the Torah, saying, If one bear Kodesh flesh in a skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch bread or pottage or wine or oil or meat, shall it be Kodesh? And the priests answered and said, No. Then said Haggai, If one that is unclean by the dead body touch any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priests answered and said, It shall be unclean. Then Hag answered Haggai and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, says Yahuwah, and so is every work of their hands. And that which they offer there is unclean. And now I pray you consider from this day and upward, from before a stone was laid Upon a stone in the temple of Yahuwah, since those days were when one came to a heap of twenty measures, there were but ten. When one came to the press fat for to draw out fifty vessels out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blasting, and with mildew and with hail, in Aleph Tav, all the labors of your hands, yet ye turn not to me, says Yahuwah. Consider now from this day and upward, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of Yahuwah's temple was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? <laughs> Yea, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree has not brought forth from this day, I will baruch you, bless you.
And again, the word of Yahuwah came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Yehuda, saying, I will shake Aleph-Tob the heavens, and Aleph-Tob the Eretz, earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots, and those that ride in them, and the horses of and their riders shall come down, everyone by the sword of his brother. In that day, says Yahuwah Tezavot, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, says Yahuwah, and will make you as a signet, for I have chosen you, says Yahuwah Tezavot. Thus concludes the Sefer of the Nabi Haggai, the prophet Haggai. This is Mr. Vance. Thank you for tuning in to YHWHY, and thank you to the whole Et Sefer team. Shalom Aleichem.